things about the fire sled is the versatility of it. You can do workouts with it. You can do job specific training with it. Today, we're gonna to do a scenario using the fire sled and the Punisher. Um, the scenario is a three-story garden apartment. All right, the first thing they're gonna do is they're gonna sit in the seat of misery. It's good because if it's done right, their core is gonna be tight and ready for action. Their hamstrings and their quads are gonna be engaged. So once they get off the engine, they're prepared for what they're gonna to have to do next. So Lieutenant Willis is in command and he's gonna give them a command to advance the charge hose line to side A. Firefighter Donovan, are you ready? Yes, sir. All right, we're gonna advance the hose line to side, side A? Yes, sir. Go. So even with an air pack on and gear, that's when you gotta face particular attention to form because that's when we lose our form. Um, we've got 50, 60 pounds of weight on there. It makes a big difference when you're transitioned. This is a progression. And he's gonna use the ladder prop to simulate carrying a ladder. So command is asking for two variations. So he's gonna do a shoulder carry. And as you know, we, everything we do is asymmetrical, one side of the body. And then once he comes around the cone, he's gonna to go to extended arm carry. All right, so now he's a side B. So once he's laddered, uh, he's gonna be directed to go up to the third floor, which is about 30 steps. He's gotta make sure with his gear on because it's a totally different ball game when you put those gear and those boots on that you get up high enough to where you don't trip. 29. All right, 30, you on the third floor? He's on the third floor now. What the command wants him to do is, is to check the breezeway to see if there's any fire overhead before he makes entrance into the apartment. So what we're going to do is we're going to use both sides of his body, 10 on each side. He's going to push up through the ceiling tile, hook some ceiling tile, and pull it down in front of him. It's very important to check for fire overhead before going um, into a building. As you can see, he's got to keep his shoulders soft. You don't want those traps to get too tight. Uh, that's when you get shoulder injuries. It's a little bit more difficult with gear on. So there's no fire overhead, so command's going to allow him to go inside the building. They've checked the door. The door is locked. All right. Okay, let's go ahead and force entry. We have somebody inside. We got a firefighter inside. Let's get in there and get him. The man is saying we got somebody inside. We can't get any report from him. All right, we got a firefighter. Let's get out of here. All right, a mayday, mayday, mayday. Very important. Keep your form. Keep low. There you go. Let's get out of this building. Stay low. Definitely don't want to get burnt. Stay low. Stay low. There. Good job. Go a little slower. A little slower. Get your back out of it. Look over your shoulders. It's perfect. Firefighter's out. Firefighter Donovan made the first save of his career. Good job, Firefighter Donovan.